you should definitely not follow anything I'm going to say in this video. This is for educational purposes only. But here is how you can scrape all of the data from Apollo for a few pennies. If you don't know what Apollo is, Apollo is one of the cheapest and fastest databases out there if you're doing lead generation for code outbound campaigns or code calling. So you probably already heard of Apollo. It is a tool that will allow you to get a lot of leads very fast. And it used to be very cheap. So nowadays, a lot of people have... Uh, been using Apollo scrapers to get data out, but a lot of those got patched, they no longer work, they don't deliver the data, or there is a lot of issues with those. So what I'm going to show you today is an alternative that will get you a lot of data from Apollo for very cheap. And all you need to do is have a free subscription account on Apollo, get a search, and plug it into this magic tool that I'm going to show you in the middle of this video. So let's start with Apollo. So if you open your Apollo account, you go to people, if you're doing a people search, and you plug in the company criteria that you want. So let's do one as an example here. Let's say that I want CEOs and founders. So I'm going to come here on job titles. I'm going to say that I want to include and I'm going to put CEO. Then I will say that I want companies that are located in the United States of America. I'm going to say that I want these companies to have anywhere from 50 to 500 employees. And I'm going to say that I want them to be in advertising. By the way, if you want a full tutorial and breakdown on how to use Apollo.io the real way and the legal way, definitely comment down below and I'll be happy to record a video on that. Today, I'm just going to show you how to extract the data from here in an illegal manner. Don't do this, but that is very cheap. So then I'm going to say that I only want emails that are uh, verified. By the way, I don't just take these emails and launch them in my campaigns. If ever I get data the legal way from Apollo, I'm going to revalidate it with a tool like Use Bouncer or Instant AI, which by the way is not only a Kodimo sending tool, they actually do email validation too, and it's pretty good. Super random, let's say that was my list. I just want to get very specific here to give you an example of what you could be getting as well. So now we found 1,600 people inside this list. What I'm able to do is copy this link and then go to a tool that is called Appify. Appify is a really cool tool. I wanted to think like it, like hiring a bunch of mini robots that do things for you and just bring you the final result. So instead of you having to build a way to scrape data from websites or you having to come up with a scraper or have any programming skills, instead you could have someone do that for you and just rent their automation. How cool is that? So all you need to do is you open Appify and then you're going to come in here and you're going to go to the store, so Appify store, and you're going to search for the Apollo Scraper, scrape up to 50K leads. This was crafted by Code Pioneer. And again, this is educational purposes only. If you use this actor, you're able to get less scraped out of Apollo within seconds. So all I have to do is I open this, I've rented it. By the way, the way the rental works is you can either rent it for a period of time or you rent for as much as you extract data. In this case, it's $1.20 for every 1,000 leads. So all I have to do is come here on the input, manually put in my search URL, the one that I copied from the browser in my previous search, and say how many records I want out. So in this case, the amount of records that we had is 1,609. So I'm going to put 1,609. I'm going to say that I want the work emails. And in the run options, I don't really need to do any of this stuff. This is too advanced. No reason for you to worry about it. All you do is you click on save and start. And when you do that, look at this. It is going to store the actor for you. It's going to pull all of this information. It's going to look like very fancy, like you're some sort of hacker or something. And it's going to actually start extracting some of the data for you. Now, I'm going to skip ahead, and we're going to come back once this is done. And as you can see, in this case, it has already successfully fetched a total one of 100 records. All I have to do once it's done is click on export 100 results, say the type of file that I want. So for example, a CSV file and click download. Then I'm going to upload this into a Google Sheet. All I'm going to do is come here, go on file, import. I'm going to click on upload and I'm going to select that file. I can replace the spreadsheet and we can take a look at the data. So in this case, as you can see, it extracted all of the data, including emails, from that list right there. And now we are good to go. All we have to do is clean this data, validate it, make sure everything looks good, and we are ready to roll. So this is how you can use an Apollo scraper nowadays. Again, don't do this educational purposes only, but to get a lot of data for very cheap. From here, what you should be doing is making sure that the people that you found are actually relevant. You should be checking if these companies are within your ICP ideal customer profile, and then from there, validate the emails and launch them in your code email campaigns. Or if you're doing phone number, you should validate these phone numbers. Now, if you want to know what these next automations look like in order to get this data validated and make sure it's actually really good to go in your code email campaigns, you should definitely check out this video right here on the screen where I show you our top seven automations that save us a lot of money, make us a lot of money, and save a ton of time. In fact, it actually made us, unfortunately, have to fire our whole generation team because it was all done for us with NADEN. So I'll see you there.